for her drive through the city of London today for her silver jubilee because it didn't rain but here at Marlborough in Wiltshire it's been tipping down all day which has somewhat dampened the enthusiasm of the local round table for preparing an ox roast and also many medieval festivities for the day ahead Well, Mr. Ted Pocock, a farmer from Pusey, you're the expert that had the job of choosing this animal to roast. Uh, where did you get it and what Chip made you choose it? Chip to market Friday, and the mayor asked me if I could get one. He wanted a 1200 weight heifer, but um, a bit hard to get that day, so I, I got a steer. It's a short horn freezing cross. It's a nice, well finished beast, and you want one with uh, some good hindquarters. And it's an ideal job for this, not too much waste. Well, Mr. Tug Wilson from Exeter, you're the expert here in charge of this roasting. What's the secret behind it? I think the time that you put it on the fire, the type of fire that you've got, not this weather that we've got here today, this is the worst you could possibly have. Well, it was uh, 9.30 this morning when you put it on. It's not going to be ready until about 7 o'clock tonight. Not, we don't want it till 7, but I'm sorry, we didn't get it on the fire until about top past 10 this morning. We had difficulty with getting it on the pole. Uh, what is the main difficulty for you in uh, cooking an ox in this way? Oh, just getting the fire at the right temperature, keeping the thing turning very, very slowly, and letting the basting do the cooking. Continual basting. With what do you baste it? Dripping, any kind of fat, animal fat. Yeah. Gallons of it, I should imagine. Buckets of it, yeah. <laughs> 56 pounds we started with. How heavy is the beast, and uh, how, how do you choose the ideal ox for roasting? You want a fine-limbed animal, a fine-boned animal, and not too much fat on it. And this one weighs about 11.1. Now, what's the secret as regards the fire? What sort of wood do you use? Um, well, best is oak mixed with ash. Oak for slow burning, a good hot fire, ash for quick burning and catching your oak up. Well, it's now some ten hours since this ox was put on the spit and the church bells have stopped ringing, which means that the mayor, Tony Gray, is soon coming along to cut the first slice. Hooray! 